Welcome to General Fashion Guide. In today's video, we are going to be looking at some alternative calculation. That is, alternate ways of calculating a particular thing. For example, there are different ways of calculating the bus span. There are different ways of calculating the ample depth, the cap height. So we want to see some other ways we can calculate it. So it may be the ones you already know or some other ones that you never thought of. So let's go to the point. So, so the first one we want to look at is the shoulder measurement. If you want to cut, if you are giving a measurement but you are not giving the shoulder. How do you determine the shoulder? Well, it is simple. To, to get the shoulder, you simply divide your bust. If you have your bust, you are giving bust. Bust circumference divided by 4 minus 2. That will give you your shoulder. So if you have a bust of 40, 40 divided by 4 is 10. Minus 2 is 8. If you have a, so 8 becomes a shoulder. You will now multiply this 8 by 2 to get the shoulder. So this 8 is half of the shoulder. So to get the full shoulder, you simply multiply this by 2. Okay, so this is half shoulder. So this is half shoulder. So assuming your bust is 34, 34 divided by 4 minus 2. 34 divided by 4 is 8.5 minus 2, you have 6.5. So this is half of the shoulder. This is half shoulder. So to get the full shoulder, you multiply this by 2 and you have 13. So 13 becomes your shoulder a measurement that is from one shoulder to the other shoulder. Another way you can also, another way to also calculate this, another way to also calculate this is to simply multiply the armhole, the armhole depth, armhole depth times two. So if your armhole depth, let's say for this um, for this one, the armhole depth is eight. Armhole depth is eight. You simply multiply by two to have the full shoulder, which is sixteen. Okay. So the armhole depth and the shoulder they have a relationship. If you know the armhole depth, then it automatically gives you half of the shoulder. So this is what we are saying. So they they work vice versa. So for example, we want to measure the ample depth. We want to measure ample depth, and you know your shoulder. You simply measure your shoulder and divide by two, and it will give you your ample depth. Okay. So if the ample depth already is seven that is half of the shoulder this is half of the shoulder so to get the full shoulder you simply multiply by two so that is what we are saying so i'm whole depth i'm whole depth multiplied by two we give you full shoulder Ample depth multiplied by two will give us full shoulder. Why the ample depth will give us half of the shoulder? So take note. So the next one that we want to consider is ample depth. 
arm hole depth. So there is a formula for the arm hole depth. The formula is so you can use bust circumference divided by six plus one point five. This is the one that is very common. We are all used to this. We are all used to this. So if you don't use this, another one that you can use is shoulder divided by two. You see why I said the shoulder and the bust that they have a relationship. So or there's a third way to also determine the armhole depth. Another way to determine the armhole depth is the armhole round. Armhole round divided by two plus zero point five. Armhole round divided by two plus zero point five. What do we mean by that? So this is all we are saying. Another way I can calculate the armhole depth is to use the armhole round or the armhole circumference. Armhole round. You take your armhole round like this. This one we have 13. Then you divide it by 2. 13 divided by 2. That will give us 6.5. And then you add 0 0.5 inch allowance and you have 7. So that 7 becomes your ample depth. So for me, that is the measure like this. You take the armhole round or the armhole circumference. You take it like this. Okay, you take it like this, then you divide it by 2 and then you add 0 0.5 like this. You divide it by 2 and then you add 0 0.5. So let's look at some example. Let's look at some example. If you know shoulder, like we use on the mannequin, on the mannequin, the shoulder was 13. 13. So divided by 2 will give us 6.5. Okay? Or we use the armhole round. So on our mannequin, the shoulder was 14, 14 divided by 2, 7. The ample round was 13, 13 divided by 2, we give us 6.5. So you add 0 0.5 to that and you have 7. So either way, you have the same thing. Okay. The ball circumference of this um, mannequin is 34. The ball circumference, if you, if you, if you do the ball circumference, You see, the bus circumference is 34. 34 divided by 6 plus 1.5. So what is 34 divided by 6? 6 into 6 into 34, we have 5. 5 times 6 is 34. 6 is 40, we have 6. 6 times is 36. You keep reoccurring. So you have 5.66 plus 1.5. So you have 7.1. So if you round this up to a whole number, you will have 7. So another alternative calculation I want to look at is the bus span measurement, which we call the nipple to nipple. 
But span, span simply means the distance from one bus to another. The distance. So you usually use the na from nipple to nipple. That's why some call it nipple to nipple. So the distance from one nipple to another is your bus span measurement. So all these measurements, you are supposed to me measure them on your client. But if for any reason your client is not physically present for you to measure them, that is when these calculations come in. So this bus, this now is 6.5. Remember that the bus circumference is 34. So let's look at the formula. So the first method to do this is to use the bus circumference. Bust circumference that is the bust round bust circumference divided by four minus two. You divide the bust circumference by four, you subtract two. The bust this bust you are working with is 34. 34 divided by four will give us 8.5. So 8.5 minus two, we have 6.5, which was the same thing we got when we took our measurement okay another way to calculate this bus span is when your fabric is unfolded this one is a bus spanner from one nipple to, nipple to to another nipple so if your fabric is if you are going to fold your fabric into two you know that you cannot use this 6.5 directly you will now have to divide it on fold, you will divide 6.5 by 2 and it will give you 3.25 to give you 3.25 so if your fabric is on fold, there is a formula to calculate that when your fabric is on fold the formula is you use the unfold use bust circumference divided by 8 and you subtract 1 bust circumference divided by 8 minus 1 so we are using 34 34 divided by 8 you are going to have 4.25 so this 4.25 Two five, you subtract one, and that will give us three point two five on food. Okay, so that is the alternate way. So you either do this with a span and get six point five, or when it is on food, use this formula. When you get your six point five, when you fold your fabric, you simply divide the six point five by two, and you have three point two five. So if you don't want to use bus circumference divided by 4, you simply divide the bus circumference by 8 and subtract 1. Here we are subtracting 2, here we are subtracting 1. And you will still get the same thing. Okay, so let's look at uh, another example. Let's see bus 40. Bus 40. The first one says divide it. 40 divided by 4 minus 2. 40 divided by 4 is 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. Then the second one says divide the bus circumference. Bus circumference divide by 8 minus 1. 40 divided by 8 is 5. 5 minus 1 will give us 4. So this one is on fold, on fold. So when you get this, your eight, this one is the span. If you now fold your fabric, you simply divide this by two, and you will also have four. So take note of both of them. Another alternate, alternate, uh, alternative calculation to look at is the cap height. The cap height. So to calculate the cap height. We have different ways of calculating it. First, you can use your bust, 
divided by 12 plus 1. Bus divided by 12 plus 1. Or we do armhole depth divided by 2 plus quarter plus quarter and quarter is in now 0 0.25. So, ample depth divided by 2, the answer plus quarter or plus 0 0.25. So, let's look at uh, a bust. Bust 36. 36 divided by 12. 36 divided by 12 is 3. 3 plus 1. Is four, so this becomes our cap height. Okay. Then, if you do not want to do it like this, we said we use the ample depth. So this thirty-six. Let's calculate the ample depth. The ample depth of thirty-six is thirty-six divided by six plus one point five. That is the armhole depth. Armhole depth. So 36 divided by 6 is 6 plus 1.5 is 7.5. And we say that if you are using armhole depth, armhole depth divided by 2 plus 1 over 4. So the armhole depth for both 36 is 7.5. So divide this 7.5, divide it by 2. Divide the 7.5 by 2. And you are going to have, uh, let's divide this. What will you have? You can use your calculator. We don't have a calculator here. 2 into 7 is 3. 3 times 2 into 7 is 3, 3 times 6 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, 7 minus 1, 7 minus 6 is 1, bring down 5, 2 into 15 is 7, 7 times 2 14. So we have 3.75, 3.75, so this 3.75 you now add quarter to it, we say plus quarter. And quarter in fraction is 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Carry one. 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 1, 10. So you see that you have the same 4. You see that you have the same 4. Okay. So let's use um, the other one, our other example. Let's see if it will work. The one of 34. Boss 34. Boss 34. The first example says boss divided by 12 plus 1. So 34 divided by 12 plus 1. So what is 34 divided by 12? Let's do the division here. No calculator here. 34, 12. 12 into 34 is uh, 2. 2 times 12, 24. 12 into 100. 12 into 100. Uh, do we have up to 9? 12 into 100. Let's see what 8 will give us. 8 times 2, 16. Carry 1. 8 times 1, 8 plus 1, 9. Okay. It still goes further. 12 into 40 is 3. 3 times 12, 36. 
so you see that it's keep going we're going to have 2.8333333 so let's stop at 2.83 or 2.8 let's do it to one decimal place so this one is 2.8 so 34 34 divide 12 is 2.8 plus 1 1 is a whole number so you have 3.8 so if you do not want to do it like this if you don't want to do it like this the next one will say another formula you can use is to use the armhole depth to do the armhole depth divided by 2 so this one is bust divided by 12 plus 1 so the second formula is to use armhole depth divided by 2 plus 1 over 4 and armhole depth of 34 we calculated that one before armhole depth of 34 so We said the second formula is ample depth divided by 2 plus 0.75. And we already know that the formula for ample depth, we already know that the formula for ample depth is bust divided by 6 plus 1.5. So the bust in this case now, the bust is 34. 34 divided by 4, we are going to have uh, 5.6, then plus 1.5. And that will give us that will give us 7.1. So 34 divided by 4, you have 5.6. If you add 1.5, you're going to have 7.5. So and this can be approximated to 7 to the nearest whole number. So the armhole depth is 7. And this formula says armhole depth divided by 2. So 7 divided by 2. 7 divided by 2 will give us 3.5. Then it says when you divide armhole depth, it says armhole depth divided by 2 plus 1 over 4, or which is the same as 0 0.25. So this 3.5 plus 0 0.25. Five, seven. So this is 3.75 3.75 and to the nearest whole uh, one decimal place we give us 3.8 which is the same thing as this which is the same thing as this 3.8 so whichever method you want to use we arrive at the same thing so note that cap height so note that cap height Cap height is bust divided by 12 plus 1. Or alternatively, armhole depth divided by 2 plus quarter. Or armhole depth divided by 2 plus 0 0.25. Try it on your own calculation and uh, let me know what, what, you, what you got. So we have come to the end of this alternative calculation. I hope you find this video helpful. So you can try it on your own measurement, try it on your own bust, and let me know what you think on the comment section below. So I'll see you again in another video. If you if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do well for yourself to subscribe so that you will always be notified each time I post a new video. I make videos every week, sometimes three times in a week. So you don't want to miss out on that. I'll see